In this problem, uh, we have three complex numbers, Z1, Z2, and Z3, each having modulus 1 and forming an equilateral triangle. So here they are on an Argan diagram. Um, so part A, write down each of Z1, Z2, Z3 in the form cosine theta plus I sine theta. OK, so if they are making a, an equilateral triangle, OK, so if I join them up, then we know, of course, that's going to be 60 degrees or pi over 3, OK? So what we need to understand is that in order to work out Z2, Z1 is going to be clearly easy because it's just 1, OK? So um, uh, theta in these cases will be 0. So let's write that down first, shall we? So Z1 is going to be equal to cosine of 0 plus I sine 0, OK? For Z2, it is this angle that I'm interested in, OK? So this angle in here is going to be one-third of the whole way around, so 2 pi. So we're going to have 2 pi over 3, and that's equivalent to the 120 degrees, right? So Z2 will be cosine of 2 pi over 3, plus I sine 2 pi over 3. And for Z3, this will be the same angle round, OK, but negative. So Z3 will be cosine of minus 2 pi over 3, plus I sine ooh, minus 2 pi over 3. OK, so that's part A. Part B, show that Z1 cubed equals Z2 cubed equals Z3 cubed, which equals 1. So Z1 cubed is cosine theta plus I, sorry, cosine 0, not theta, cosine 0 plus I sine 0 cubed. Now, by uh, the Moivre's theorem, the Marvel's theorem, uh, the 3 multiplies with the 0, and so that's just cosine of 0 plus I sine of 0, which of course is just 1 plus 0I, so 1, because cosine of 0 is 1 and sine of 0 is 0. Then Z2 cubed is cosine of 2 pi over 3 plus I sine of 2 pi over 3, and that's cubed. So the 3 is going to multiply with the 2 pi over 3s. So you get cosine of 2 pi plus I sine of 2 pi. Cosine of 2 pi is 1. Sine of 2 pi is 0. And finally, Z3 cubed, cosine of minus 2 pi over 3 plus I sine of minus 2 pi over 3 cubed. So the 3 is going to multiply with minus 2 pi over 3. So cosine of minus 2 pi plus I sine of minus 2 pi. Well, cosine of minus 2 pi is 1 and sine of minus 2 pi is 0. And so Therefore, z1 cubed is equal to z2 cubed, which is equal to z3 cubed, which is equal to 1. Now, this is going to dovetail in neatly with considering the uh, nth roots of unity, which is going to be coming up in the next section.